Hey, what's up? It's me, Stephanie B from Five Mid Mornings, and I am here with James Deacon for another five listening sessions. You can catch it the final Friday of every single month where we get to listen to some artists in like a different, sort of more unplugged way. James, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Hey, what's up, Five Fim? Hey, what's <laughs> up, Stephanie B? Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here and honored to play you guys some tracks. So yeah, excited to be here in the inner workings of Five FM. I know you were so impressed that we actually have an office. You thought that somehow we just managed to run yeah, Five FM downstairs yeah. in studio and then yeah, everyone was in the studio where all the admin and okay, then all okay. the <laughs> entertainment side happens as well. But now, now seeing this, I'm like, wow, no, okay. this, this is a full production, guys. Yeah, welcome There's a to lot that's this. Gone is my this. desk. Um, <laughs> that's my mirror ball, and Thanks, welcome to it. I'm glad to have you here as well. Thanks. And I want to ask a few questions. We've got some audience questions as well that'll come up a little bit later on. Awesome. But the first question I want to ask. It's something I like asking most artists, which is when did you realize that music was actually something that you were into? Like, did you take it seriously from when you were very, very small? Did your parents encourage you to pick up an instrument? And then I suppose, when was the first time you woke up maybe as a teen or as a young kid and you were like, dang, this music thing, I love it. I want to do this forever. This is amazing. Hey, that's an awesome question. Okay, I actually have the exact answer for that question. Uh, when I was four years old, um, the story goes, uh, I don't remember it, but apparently when I was four years old, I went into my parents' bedroom and I was like, I want to learn the violin. And they were like, what? You're like four. What the hell? What, like, you don't even know what a violin is. And I was like, no, play a song. I'll tell you which one's the violin. And I did. And they were like, okay, cool. Because you did that, we'll get you a violin, get you lessons. But it was kind of like a casual thing. And then I just became obsessed. Like from the first moment I had an instrument that I could make noises with and, and write songs with, I was just like, whoa, this is like a whole other part of life I didn't have access to before. And then when I was about, I'd say about 10, 11 years old, I started like being interested in girls. And then I realized like the violin is not exactly the instrument that gets the guys a lot, girls, right? Like in the movie, the violinist very seldom gets the girl. So I was like, I need to try and like diversify my portfolio so I don't just do violin. So I taught myself guitar. Um, by listening to Jimi Hendrix, um, oh, damn. basically just on loop on a discman back when those were a thing, an actual CD. Um, and I would sit and just like listen in parrot fashion, like pause and then sit for like an hour trying to figure out Jimi Hendrix, which is like Hendrix super of, difficult. Yeah. Of all of the guitarists to choose to imitate yeah. as a kid, you chose the you best one ever. Choose yeah. Jimi Hendrix. Okay, yeah, okay, and then cool. I was basically like terrible at guitar for a long time. And then I was just using my knowledge on the violin and mm -hmm. translating it onto a guitar. And then it was sort of the first time I'd started playing chords and writing. I wrote a song and I was like sitting there in my living room at like 3 a.m. My parents would have been so angry if they knew I was awake. And I was like, I just wrote a song. Oh my God, I just wrote a song. This is it. Oh my gosh. And then it was like from that moment onwards, it was like, okay, this is what I have to do the rest of my life. No matter what else gets in the way, this is going to be consistently in my life. And yeah, now I get to do it for a living and it's amazing. <laughs> hey, that's so sweet. What an awesome answer. Okay, cool. Can you still play the violin, by the way? I can. Oh yes. my goodness. Okay, that's super impressive. Yeah. One of the um, hardest instruments, actually. Grade eight, make. classically trained. Um, yeah, I got a. I did my grade eight through UNISA. Yeah. Royal schools, Trinity. I did like the whole batch. I did like five different exams. For sure. Yeah. But I don't play as much now because mm. I kind of write my own music, and I used to do predominantly classical music okay. and then I did injure my arm in Ooh. 2017 and it's kind of messed up my right hand so I okay. can't hold the bow the same way yeah. so it sounds a bit different I'm not that confident so I don't often bring the violin out in front okay. of pe people well, but oh, sweet. yeah okay do you want to tell us about the first track that you're going to play for us today yeah. so the first song I'm going to play for you guys is called Reason um, it is one that 5FM has lovingly played over the airwaves many a time um, we're going to do a stripped down kind of jazzy version of it um, I have the, my main man Tungi on the bass right here backing me up today. We're going to, yeah, play Reason. And this one I wrote for my girlfriend who at the time, she's now my wife. Um, and I wrote this as sort of a love song for her. And yeah, just sort of a, a thank you for being who you are and making me who I am kind of thing. So that's the song. Hope you guys enjoy it. I didn't think I'd ever be someone Never knew there was a place for me You are the one that fixed my broken wings And if you don't already know by now Baby, you're the reason that I'm me For every minute that I'm incomplete You pick my pieces out from under you're happy with the way I am Cause baby you're the reason that I'm me So 
I've spoken in her own way She left me standing in the doorway She's got me tripping but it's okay yeah. She's gonna love me when it's Friday She's not the type to go for anybody I'm making sure I'll be her somebody This game was not designed for everybody Oh, I didn't think I'd ever be someone I never knew there was a place for me You are the one that fixed my broken wings And if you don't already know by now Baby, you're the reason that I'm me For every minute that I'm in my pieces out from under me I hope you're happy with the way I am Cause baby you're the reason that I'm me The tension here is like a hurricane Before it rips you from the picture frame Awaken dreams to ride in front of me I swear to you it felt like destiny This ain't no temporary love That bright red flame from up above Release your mind and let it be, believe me I didn't think I'd ever be someone I never knew there was a place for me You are the one that fixed my broken wings don't already know by now Baby, you're the reason that I'm me For every minute that I'm incomplete You pick my pieces out from under me I hope you're happy with the way I am Cause baby, you're the reason that I'm me Amazing, thank you so much. And then... Yeah. Um, I wanted to know, what is a memorable um, career moment that you would say solidified you and your artistry? <sighs> wow, that is a hectic question. There's, so, I'm a huge believer in, like, not looking for a big break, rather looking for many small consistent breaks and look at every little victory, like the tiniest thing can turn my day around and I, I basically because of the way the the transient nature of the music industry like you have to be able to roll with the punches and some days you're going to have a bad day some days people are going to slam doors in your face they're going to tell you no some days people are going to be like yeah that's cool I'll give you a shot and just that little bit of a shot can mean the world so I feel like there's not really one specific moment. I mean, I, I got to open for AHA uh, when they came to South Africa and that was really cool because I've been a fan of them since I was like a tiny kid. So being able to meet them and like be backstage with them, that was like, I remember sitting backstage and being like, whoa, this is real. Like this is really happening now. Like these are some legitimate musicians and like someone thinks that I'm on the same level to be put on the same stage as them. And that was kind of like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, got to keep going. Because I like like everybody I struggle with self-confidence and I think when you do something like this that's so in the public eye and so much like it's it relies on you being able to be personable and talk to people and be friendly and stuff and sometimes you're not having that kind of day so I think if you have the mentality that any small little thing can be a victory can be a stepping stone to your next success can lead to the next big thing then it kind of on a day-to-day -day basis you keep yourself going a lot easier so I think that's that's my method at least <laughs> yeah do you want to tell us about uh, the second track that you're going to play for us today? Yeah, okay, this one is called For You, and I wrote it about a bit of a controversial topic. I wrote it about cigarettes. So many people struggle with uh, addiction to nicotine and cigarettes and stuff, and I'm one of them. Um, so yeah, since I was 16, I've been smoking cigarettes, and I've recently quit. But when I wrote this song, I was really trying to quit, but just failing so bad. And I basically wrote a song about my love-hate relationship with nicotine and cigarettes. Um, so it's kind of like a love song, but for an inanimate object. Um, but yeah, cool. So this one's called For You. Hope you guys enjoy. I lost all this weight for you. Or maybe it's just because of you. I can't wait to breathe you in. 
Since 16 you've been under my skin So one more hit then I'll throw you to the ground I say farewell till another comes around At the end of it all it's just you and me So why won't you just set me free? I love you, I love you, I love you so much I hate you, I hate you, you're nothing but a crutch Dying, I'm dying, I know you're killing me Broken, I'm broken, I'm broken, can't you see? I love you, I love you, I love you so much Hate you, I hate you, you're nothing but a crutch I'm dying, I'm dying, I know you're killing me Broken, I'm broken, I'm broken, can't you see? Crept in so harmlessly Thought I'd look cool with you next to me So I put you in my pocket, but not for long I'll be calling you again if ever things go wrong Yeah, whenever I've been on my own, been on my own That's when I find you Spending your life with me between my teeth like you're designed to Nicotine, nicotine, all the moments in between Try to fight you back, but you're taking all my energy So I love you, I love you, I love you so much I hate you, I hate you, you're nothing but a crutch Dying, I'm dying, I know you're killing me I'm broken, I'm broken, I'm broken, can't you see? You crept in so honestly Thought I look cool with you next to me So I put you in my pocket, but not for long I'll be calling you again if ever things go wrong Yeah, whenever I've been on my own Been on my own, that's when I find you Spending your life with me between my teeth Like you're designed to Nicotine, nicotine All the moments in between Try to fight back But you're taking all my energy So I love you, I love you, I love you so much Hate you, I hate you, you're nothing but a crutch I'm dying, I'm dying, I know you're killing me Broken, I'm broken, I'm broken, can't you see? Thank you. Hi, James. Hey, how Leah you doing? Jazz here from Five After Hours. So cool to meet you. I'm so curious. Who are your dream collaborators, both locally and internationally? Ooh. Okay, that's also a super great question and super easy for me to answer. I've thought about it a lot. <laughs> I'm um, sure. Local collab would be Nasty C. Um, we're born seven days apart. Um, he's born seven days before me. That's why he is uh, incredibly more successful than me thus far he had a in head our start. careers. He, had, a head uh, he start. had the seven days ahead of me and I feel like that that's definitely why. Um, it's the only reason. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think internationally would be Anderson Pack. Um, yeah. Nice. Yes, Lord. It. Yes, Lord. Okay, we've got a final track from James Deacon. So do you want to give us a little bit of background? Maybe this one isn't about addiction. No, uh, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> funnily Actually, enough. Funnily enough, this third one is about This addiction. one is about another kind of addiction. No, <laughs> <laughs> no basically, uh, this one is called Why Me? And this is an exclusive because it is unreleased. It is not available anywhere. Um, so this will be pretty much the only digital form that anyone is able to interact with this song for the next however many months it takes me to release it. So um, I wrote this song on this guitar that I bought in London. Uh, last year I was feeling super despondent after COVID, like not being able to gig. I just wanted to get out of SA, see what the world had to offer. So I sold my car um, and I went over to England with a backpack of clothes and a watch and I pawned the watch to buy a guitar. Um, and this is the guitar. And I also, just before getting on the plane to go to London, I proposed to my girlfriend. Um, so she said yes, and then I had a fiance, and I had to be like, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go to England and try and chase my dreams. Uh, and then she had to be like, okay, cool. Which she was really cool about it. But basically, I missed her so much that I wrote this song called Why Me about out of all the guys in the world that she could have chosen, why me? So yeah, that's what it's about. And it's called Why Me, and I hope you guys love it as much as I loved writing it. So high up, I think that I can see your house from here. Never in my life has my direction been so clear But now I know that this is real And 
and I don't wanna let you go But I keep ending up with these two words I have to know So why me? I recall the times before I nearly drove myself into a wall But then the light behind your eyes called out to me right through the rain Now every day I ask myself the question still Thank you. Who knew he had the range? My goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. That was Thank absolutely you. amazing. Uh, you're back in South Africa now, obviously, after pawning the watch yeah. and selling the car and I'm getting back, a baby. very beautiful guitar. <laughs> uh, no more cars, no more watches to pawn. I'm assuming yes. we're good. No, we're, we're good. on the up we're and Gucci up. Now. We're on the up and up. Things have definitely taken a turn for the good. Okay, Since I got back from England, things are good. That's so, amazing. Yeah. It's that nasty sea energy. It is. I'm catching up. Seven days behind. Seven days behind. always seven days behind. Almost, almost. <laughs> so we're kind of midway through the year, just a little bit past midway through the year. What is on the cards for James Deacon? I know you said you've got that song hopefully coming out. Maybe you having recorded this now is going to light a little bit of a fire under your eyes. Uh, so we can have True. that song on 5FM properly in the next little while. And then what, summer's on the way, so tours, that kind of stuff? Indeed, yeah. So I've got a lot of live shows coming up. I've, I'm playing a show this Saturday. Um, we've got, you can just go on, onto my website, www.jamesdeacon.net, and then everything's up there. Um, we've got some crazy shows coming up with some amazing artists. Um, and then we've also got a tour coming down. We're go going down to Cape Town in December. We'll be putting on my social media all the links to that stuff, and so you can get your tickets. Um, and then next year, we are heading all the way to Germany uh, for an international tour, which is going to be sick. We're jumping on with a couple of other bands and just playing as many venues as possible. Just it's my motto is go overseas and sleep on couches and play as many gigs as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, my band is just me and my friends, and we just love making music. So that's that's our, our plan is to take it as far and wide as we possibly can. And on the 22nd of September, I am releasing my next single. It is called Wow. Um, and it's something completely different for me. It's like a whole new genre. Okay. Um, I'm venturing more and more into the hip hop side of things because um, that's just where my heart is. And the more I sort of come into my own as a musician, as an artist, and I get more confidence, the more I'm kind of like at the point where I just feel like I'm gonna make whatever music I wanna make and people will like it. And if they don't like it, that's cool. The ones that like it will like it and they'll come to the show. So that's what I'm aiming for. I'm just making music that I love, that I believe in, that I think means something. And that's authentic, like no BS. Mm. Cause we're on the air. See what I did <laughs> Thank you for self <laughs> Um Okay, awesome. And then you said you mentioned all of the links are gonna be on your socials. Do you wanna give yes. us how we can get in touch? Like is it Instagram, TikTok, all yeah, that kind so of stuff? Yeah, so on Instagram and TikTok, my handle's the same. It's at James Deacon Official. Um, and you'll see it's the one that pops up first. 
So yeah, just go give me a follow, please. Um, stay tuned. We are releasing a whole bunch of sneak previews of the song Wow on TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, you're going to get access to a bunch of like exclusive clips of the song that we're not going to release until actual release day. And the only place I'm putting it out is TikTok. So um, yeah, hit me up at James Deacon Official on TikTok. And then yeah, you'll be able to hear my songs that are coming out. And I've got some crazy new songs. I just went to the Free State and recorded like 12 new songs. So I'm just so excited to drop all is, of them. Is the Free State particularly it is special. It okay, is it okay. is a special place. There's a place <laughs> okay. called Philippoulos, um, okay. and there's a, a recording studio there that I use, and it is nice and out in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, it's just it's good to get away from things and go and clear your mind and be somewhere out in nature. And yeah, that's my that's my thing. Awesome! <laughs> Another round of applause for James Deacon. Woo! This is Five FM.